on. Is this? This is actually signed. It's Jeremy. How the hails are you today? Hails finally. It's thawed out. So it's a little bit warmer here in Ohio. So we're going to jump right back into the unboxing. Remember, this is the $80 unit that we bought in Ashland, Ohio. Tomorrow, plan on getting back out to the $1,200 criminal unit. Now, things may change to where I can't get it. And some of those life changes, well, George and I are going to share that with you this Sunday night on the live streaming Q&A. First box I pulled out of the trailer. It's labeled Folks. And it's taped, sealed shut, and I do not have a knife. Where is my knife? George ended up showing up last night unexpected, and I got all discombobbled, which is typically what happens. Let's just we'll manhandle it. We will manhandle it. Let's see if we can get in there that way. Okay. Hope these are good books for all this manhandling I gotta do. All right, we're in, almost. And I got, this is like toilet paper coming out of the bathroom. Storage unit life. Uh, this might be personal items. Hmm, ultra Bluetooth keyboard station, a cover bot. Ah, click baited again. Protector case. Okay. Looks like there could be some good stuff in here. For example, the Tres Riches Urzadin Duca Bere. Which we're going to have to look for money in all of these. Wow, what in the world? All right, let me let me sort through this, get any personal items out. And then I can show you the good items that were in there. It appears as there is just personal items on the top, and there are just books. So more Princess Diana. We've seen that stuff already. Looks like some romance novels. Look, 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 look. Little golden books. These can be worth something. And especially with something as collectible as Buck Rogers. That looks like it's in pretty good condition. Let's just look at a little bit of this stuff here. Let's see, Morse has a cold, Scooby-Doo, and the pi Pirate Treasure. We should send that to Pirate, Storage Auction Pirate, uh, for Pirate Treasure. We've got 120 Christmas songs. Who knows what else? Christmas love, poetry. So it looks like there's a mix. Uh, getting, getting the best for your child with autism. The trouble with perfect. Here's here's some stuff down here, even sealed stuff. There are a ton of boxes of books, and it takes a lot of time because I got to go through every page to make sure that there's no money hidden in them. So now what we've got are some toys, and we got to go through all these too. So don't ever discount or discredit a tote full of toys like this because a bag full of these could easily sell on eBay for twenty five. 40, 50, we'll, we'll do a little eBay search, I'll show you. Just random action figures can go for quite a bit. If I find any great ones in here, like old school Star Wars, I'll show it to you. Or any Ninja Turtles or anything along those lines. But just, just know that there's money in here, even if you don't see it right away. You know what I'm saying? I typed in bag of toys just for fun. We're going to filter it. We're going to go to sold items. Remember, we don't care what people are asking for it. We care what people are paying for it. So now we have everything that's sold. That took our search result up in the left-hand corner, 5,815 now. I want to sort it highest to lowest. Remember, the highest, the highest amounts of things that sold were probably listed better than the others. And therefore, we can learn from them and not the ones that listed low. And here's some things that we're learning already. You find a Hulk Hogan still in the plastic, right there, 600 bucks. Man alive, I wish I still had my Hulk Hogan. There's some G.I. Joe's, 595. Um, there's some little toys there. So we can see two, 2,000 bag McDonald's toys right there, $500. So we're going to get the higher priced items up here, but we're also going to get a glimpse of things that would be nice to know. As we're scrolling through, scrolling, 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 keep them auctions going, scrolling, there's some Wreck-It Ralph, 
Oh, there's some action figures. Rocky action figures. Rocky and Bullwinkle looks like. But let's do let's do action figure lot instead and see what we can learn from that. Just takes a couple seconds. All right, we typed in action figure lot and look at this, 80 horror cult action figures. By the way, the horror genre, huge money in that, especially posters, things like like that. GI Joe, uh, there's, there's just all kinds of things and you can see there's Transformers and I'm I'm at highest to lowest right now. Uh, Star Wars, we know all of this is worth stuff. Here's Marvel Legends Select. There's 250 Pizza, Spider-Man, X-Men, Avengers, there, there it all is. So put enough of this stuff together and you got some big money. Obviously a lot better money if things are, are packaged and a lot better money if you have like Star Wars. But don't look past that fast cash and I'll see if I can find you some that are more realistic in prices. Getting back down to reality, here's some X-Men figures, 20 bucks. I already see them in that tote. Here's uh, Cops and Crooks. I don't know who Cops and Crooks are, but maybe I should figure that one out. Here's just weapons and accessories from the 80s and the 90s. In that tote, I found a few Pokemon items, and specifically these Pikachus. These were made by Tomy. Let's see if we can find out when. We look right here, made by Tomy, 1998. Now, Tomy, any older Tomy toys, usually are going to be a good amount of money. Pretty collectible brand for the older school stuff. If you can find Tomy, sell it on eBay. Looks like we got a brand new Power Cookie Press by Villaware. It's in there. I don't think it's ever been opened. We'll set that aside. Let's see. Teapots, medicine stuff. Let's, let's just... This is like pitters or cores. See if we can get in this. And look at that. We do have teapots. That's got to be old school. No, that's not old school. That's Ikea. Can't be all that old school if it's Ikea. This one, check that out. That one's got to be a little bit more old school. Little rooster and then at least, I mean, I'm guessing that's what it would sound like. So when it's going off, it's like the rooster's crowing. That's cool. And there's something inside. Another piece inside. This one. This one's just a big one. A big one. And that one probably goes on the Ikea. Yep. Some other odd things. Huh. Stainless steel pepper grinder. I got so caught up in this that I forgot I have items being sold at auction right now. So I'm going to go through this box. Then we're going to head on the road to the auction that's already in process and see how much money I made on some things I sent at auction. Uh, looks like we got an angel collection. I want to go quick because I want to go see how much money I'm making. Normally, I would not share that information with you guys, but I decided today that I was going to because there's some items that you guys have actually seen. There's a cool vase. And let's see what else we have. Oh, by the way, another box. Again, I can't show everything, but there are all kinds of quilting patterns and quilting magazines. And I even found... The best loved cookie treasury from Betty Crocker. Let's see what we have here. More angels. I don't know who makes them. These are Musical Marion. Finished by Gold Halos. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming this is the same thing. Let's see what this is. This is a porcelain Eskimo maybe definitely looks like an Eskimo hands are still sealed look at this Eskimo sled and from the royal collection this is snowflake brand new it's kind of cool all right 
this says Teddy named Samantha. And what, what it is is there's angels in there. Oh, Teddy angels. I get it now. They're Teddy angels and they're in the foam. Huh. Those are going to be hard to all get out. It takes too much time for a video. Let's see what this is. Those are candles. And this is jewelry box. Come on, come on, come on. Nope. That is a clock. There you go. Not sure if it comes out. No, it just goes on an angle. So there are some newer items in here. Not sure what they're all for. But, I'm not even sure how to get them all open. Alright, here's one. So there's a certificate of authenticity as well. Looks like there's multiples of these. Uh, this is made by... Handcrafted in China. Ours. Ours. You know what? Let's just get on the road. Let's go see how much money we're making. Right? That's what you do with the seed bag. Let's go see what we're making. You probably recognize some of these pieces. That cedar chest we found with Jeebus and Amber. And everything down these rows is mine. Remember all the fabric? Well... I'll send it to auction because there's a ton of Amish and I'm hoping they'll buy it up quick. So a ton of this, this is our depression glass and other collectibles as well. You've seen a lot of these, there's the ball jars. Oh, you know what? Somebody wanted that Care Bear class and I forgot about it. But a ton of this stuff is ours. Handmade purses. Basket full of cloth. Give me ten. Give me ten, man. Ten. Mason jars. We need more than that. Thirty dollars on the blue glass. All right, ride them, guys, ride them. These are our horses. There you go, ride them. At least, at least they're having fun. Glass, <laughs> glassware, give me five. Give me five, five, five dollar now to the call. One bucking you on a moment, dollar now to the tail. One bucking you on a moment, dollar and two. Four, four, five, 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 six dollar bill, seven dollar bill, eight dollar bill, nine dollar bill, ten dollar bill. And it's your turn, young lady. Yes, it is. This box is pretty messed up. It says storage on it. And it's got clothing just filled with dog hair and glassware. Let's take a little look. See what we can find. Now remember yesterday when we found glassware. We did really well because we found gold and diamonds. So that was pretty exciting. Hopefully, we'll find something else. Matches stuff in office. This says matches stuff in office. I want to look inside and make sure nothing else is hidden. Which looks like a little broken. Oh, she broke it. Okay. That's what it is. Broken pieces. 
It's fine china, but she broke it. Some garbage in this one. A little pot. Got something in there. Take a peek at that. Another little pot. Little glass vase. So she's got pieces hidden all over in here. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely has pieces in there. Okay, we got a CD case. Look at that cool thing. Look at that. I'm sure there's probably a top in here too. Hopefully, we find more jewelry. Okay, we're gonna go kind of quick because glassware, even though it may be your thing. That does not mean it's everybody else's thing. So we're going to move kind of quickly here. Oh, let's see. Got some more fine china. Got some kind of bell. Top is broken. Oh, something just fell out. That was stupid of me dump it out especially after yesterday look that one was definitely broke so that one's just gonna go straight in the garbage mm. it's like some fishing items for a fish tank and a couple more glasses we saw one of these boxes yesterday the canning jars glass let's hope for some good glass Hopefully some antique glass. That would be nice. Old Blue Mason 13. But uh, this is what I'm afraid of. There were definitely mice in this box. So you can see the mess right here. And I mean, we may have one jump out at us. We don't know yet. All right. They are the mason jars. So we can see that there. I've got to... i got to get this mess out of here. Because the last thing we want is... Mouse Dookie. Well, they got all the way through. We don't want Mouse Dookie all over everything. Alright, so we definitely have... Yep, there's a ball jar as well. We have a ball. And let's see what we got in layer number two. But to do such, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn the flash on. Should be a little bit easier to see now. Hopefully we don't have any mice jumping out at us. We're going to take this and put it straight in the garbage. And whatever this is, the exact same thing. Garbage, too many mice. Looks like we got some Smucker's top. But basically, just like it says, a bunch of canning jars. We don't have anything unusual that I can see, unfortunately. There are quite a few totes, and most of them, yeah, like this one, they have clothes in it, so. Uh, we got a triple X Old Navy right there. No, that's a double X. That's my size. I might actually end up wearing that. But this one, this one's got fabric. Lots and lots of fabric. There's no doubt. I've seen some sewing. Again, I can't show everything, but I've seen some sewing projects and knitting and crocheting. You know, there's a whole pile right there of just yarn. Let's see. Ooh, we got something over here. Let's move that. What do we have? Yeah, we're safe. Hey, it's Lord of the Rings. And is this... This is actually signed. That's a real autograph. Look at that. That is the real autograph. Wow. She got his actual autograph. Check that out. Now, I'm a pretty big Lord of the Rings fan. Never read the books. I listened to the books on CD. So, this is pretty sweet with the autograph even oh crap even better with the autograph all right gentle gentle don't get too excited gentle let's see what we have here um that is lord of the rings uh lord of the rings fan club there's variety and oh it looks looks like they got a sell from the movie or at least a print so there it says a fellowship of nine was formed by 
Elrond. Wow. Super cool. I, I wonder if we're going to find more. You know, this is fabric, fabric, fabric. Well, you didn't get the granddaddy total because I don't have it yet either. You did get to see how we can make some real quick cash, turning it over fast when we don't have a lot of space and we have too much stuff. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, adventure awaits. You just got to go out there and find it.